The Homo habilis was discovered in 1960 by a team led by Mary and Louis Leakey. It was found in Tanzania, Africa. It was that of a young boy, and it was nicknamed Johnny's Child because it was found by Mary and Louis Leakey's son, Jonathan. The Homo habilis originated around 2.3 million years ago and lived up until about 1.5, making it one of the earliest of the Homo species. It originated in the dry grasslands of eastern and southern Africa. Some basic physical characteristics of the Homo habilis were that it was on average 3.5 to 4.5 feet tall and 70 pounds. It had ape-like features such as a protruded jaw and long arms, but unlike the Australopithecus, it had a significantly larger brain and a smaller face. One adaptation of the Homo habilis was its mouth. It had smaller teeth than the Australopithecines, but it had strong jaws and thick tooth enamel, which allowed for it to eat hard foods. Another, and the most important adaptation of the Homo habilis was its precision grip. Being able to be much more deliberate in its motions allowed for the Homo habilis to become the first tool makers. Hence its name, Handyman. The Homo habilis was a scavenger eating everything it could get its hands on, and it was also an omnivore and ate a broad range of foods, anything from tough such as leaves, plants, and woody tissue, to hard like nuts, seeds, dried meat, and tubers. The Homo habilis both lived and obtained food in groups as they were relatively small and could easily be taken as prey to larger animals. Tools were necessary for the Homo habilis themselves to obtain food. The tools had a couple different uses, one of them being to break open bones and to obtain bone marrow, and then also to help strip meat from animals' carcasses. On the right here you can see how each of the tools were formed. They were very simple and were basically just made by uh, strategically breaking off chips of rock to get the rock sharp. 